One, I hope I'm in focus. Two, I hope the camera isn't tilted. Ah, okay. Hey guys, what's up? It's Lissa and welcome back to my channel. So, I get a lot of questions about concerts like, hey, like, what should I wear to this concert? Hey, I'm going to my first general admission concert. Are there any tips you can give me? Like, what bag do I bring? Blah, 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 blah. And so, I've been to my fair share of concerts and I'm going to like a bunch more. So this video is to help you guys out, so I really hope you enjoy it. And yeah, let's get started. <laughs> I want to start off with my concert essentials. If it's a general admission concert and if it's like a music festival type thing, like if you know for sure you're going to be in a crowd or you're going to be mosh pitting or something of the sort, I recommend bringing a drawstring backpack. This one is just this navy blue one from Cotton On. It has little like San Francisco and pink at the bottom and I really like this one because it has the Ziploc right here so you can fit stuff in there the not so important stuff and then in here you can keep I don't know like your phone your money all that good stuff all the stuff that people would probably steal because it's very hard to open a drawstring backpack when you're jumping up and down and it's kind of hard not to notice when someone's kind of like tugging in your backpack trying to open it and I like wearing these just because it's easy to bring they're very lightweight and also you have less of a chance of getting stolen from if you have like a normal like I have normal over the flat backpacks that I use uh, like on a day-to-day -day basis as purses and those are kind of easier to like you know take and then bolt these are a little more, you know, safe, I guess, in my opinion. If you totally disagree, like, that's you, but in my opinion, I think these are, like, you know, the safest and the most practical bags to bring. If it is a nighttime, like, indoor concert and I'll have, I'm, like, I have seats, like, if I'm going to, like, an arena or, like, you know, there are chairs that my butt can be on, I will bring a just normal crossbody bag like that because I think they're cute. This one's my favorite. It's from Charming Charlie's. It's just this black one with, like, the little flat thingy and inside I like it because I don't have to bring my wallet because they're they're just the normal stuff but in the middle it's a wallet so I can put like my money and my coins right there in the middle and then like there's like slots for my credit card and it's just super small and yeah and it's black so it goes with everything another essential I need whenever I go to a concert are hair ties they do me well always bring hair ties with you because if it's a general admission crowd you need to tie your hair up at some point because it's just gonna be really hot if you have really thick or really long hair and then also on top of that you can like hand them to a friend if you make a concert friend you just like you know hey you need a hair tie here you go and you're like instant friendship um and then also at music festivals I'll tear, tie my hair up towards the middle of the day when I know I'm not taking pictures or anything cuz it's hot also if you don't have the luxury of having a built-in wallet in your purse and you have like a bigger wallet I recommend getting a smaller wallet this is just a Kate Spade one and I use this all the time just because I think it's more convenient and I have a lot of small bags so this is what I like to put in them and it's cute you know like it's pink I like pink so yeah smaller wallet pretty self-explanatory um gum I don't have gum on me, but I have this 200 pack of Tic Tacs, so the orange ones are my favorite. And uh, this is just so, you know, your breath doesn't stink. Because you're like shouting and screaming and having so much fun and you don't want someone to pass out from your like horrid breath. Again, you can like share them with like your concert buddies and be like, hey man, I got you. Also a camera. Hey. Uh, if you guys don't know, you know, little plug-in right there. Uh, I have a vlog channel and I like vlogging. I haven't vlogged in a while because I've just been home doing nothing. But when I do go out, so it looks like I kind of have a semi-cool life, um, I vlog it. So I'll have my vlog channel linked in the description box below. But this is just a Canon Vixia Mini X. Coolest vlog camera ever. If you know Lily Singh, uh, aka I, I Superwoman I, I Her vlogs like back in the day were used with this camera. So that's why I got it because it's like incredible. Yeah, so it's fisheye. If you can see that, it's the coolest. Oh my gosh. Ah! Um, and I use this to vlog, but I think you should bring a camera just because if you want to take videos, you might use your phone, but also like I never have storage on my phone, which pisses me off so much. So I like to use a camera and also the audio is just better depending on the camera you have. Um, another essential is a phone charger. Okay, if you're waiting in line before getting into the venue, you're going to be on your phone. I'm not going to kid you. You're going to be on your phone. And if it dies mid-concert, that's just like the worst. So I rem recommend... I recommend bringing a phone charger just because they're freaking lifesavers. Uh, this looks like a flask. It is not. It's a charger. And this one lasts me about like six hours 
flowers, but this is awesome. On top of that, I recommend bringing lip balm, uh, just because like I have really chapped lips, so I like to bring lip balm so my lips aren't like disgusting and gross by the end of the concert. And because I'm like yelling and I'm like panting because I'm jumping so much and like screaming the lyrics. So yeah, I think this is just like an absolute essential. If you have like naturally moist lips, go. That's disgusting. I should stop talking. And then also, I think like if you're gonna be like not showing your like chest area or if you want to show off like a really cute bralette, I recommend bringing something that's similar to a sports bra but still cute. So this one is from Aeropostale and it's just like a black bralette but it's kind of like a sports bra. Yeah, you can wear like a v-neck and like this little part shows up and it's so cute. But it's practically a sports bra, so your boobs, just like, they're okay. Um, another one you could wear is this one. I don't really know where I got it, but it's also like a sports bra, and it has like this really cute design right there. It's so weird, I'm showing this on a camera, weird. But yeah, like, they're just super good, like, they're so good! So yeah. I recommend. Also, another essential are sneakers. I've worn boots to a concert, hated it. You know, what a thought. Um, so these are like my favorite concert shoes. These are just the Vans high top. I also really enjoy the high top all black Converse. I preferably choose black and white shoes just because they just match everything better in my opinion. And so, yeah, you know, when you're jumping and stuff. And also if you step in mud, if you're at a festival, like, it's okay. Um, so like, hacks. I don't know if they're actual hacks, but these are things that I do that I think you should do if you want to. So, um, I like wearing long sleeves. That's something I've discovered about myself recently. One thing that I, like, stress, um, when people ask me for concert advice is wear something comfortable. Like, yeah, you want to look cute, but be comfortable, because then you're just going to be, like, rearranging and adjusting the entire night, and that's no fun, because there's, like, awesome bands and stuff in front of you that you could be listening to, but no, you're like, oh, bra strap, oh, crop top, oh, jeans, you know, so just make sure you're comfortable in your outfit. Things that I'm comfortable in are, like, t-shirts and stuff, but I also like long sleeves, and I think they're super cute. And so if you're also down for that, I recommend like these kinds of long sleeves because it's like kind of like see-through and um, but they're breathable like they're so breathable It's almost like you're not even wearing long sleeves. So you just wear like a tank Someone's showering in my house. You just have to wear like a tank top and it's like almost like you're just wearing a tank top So this is like a crochet kind of vibe thingy um, from Topshop And then this is um, just like a mesh breathable one with sparkles from Brandy Melville These I think are the perfect concert shirts like in my opinion because you still look really good But they're like breathable and comfy and yeah another thing that I think is like awesome um, are like chokers because it's like a necklace but like when you jump up and down like a pendant or something doesn't hit your chest repeatedly and it's not scarring so uh this is like one of my favorite chokers that i got recently it's from charming charlie and then this is one that i got it's a pink velvet choker from I, I think i got it from like dsw but it's like awesome and chokers are just amazing and i love them so much also another hack i have for you is when you get your backpack your drawstring backpack if you jump up and down your backpack like goes with you you know and it hurts because like iPhone chargers like hitting you in the back and your water bottles hitting you in the back and a bunch of like crappy stuff's happening so what I think is really awesome you know when you're wearing it so like these are the straps right what you do is you grab a hair tie and you kind of like I have a method of doing it with your hair tie so yeah like that works and so it's like that and then it's just like I don't know it's easier to jump in yeah like that's a fun little thing you could do I find it really helpful and then lastly here are some tips to prepare yourself and for when you're actually in a meet and greet first of all going into it don't sweat it okay you're like yeah like that's your favorite person ever and like you know like they saved your life or they like make you really happy every day and you like love their music and you're you can't wait to like be in their presence and just thank them for everything but also like they're human whoa shocker like I had no idea yeah they're like breathing and they have like a heart and lungs and like skin and bones so the first time I met like a famous person I guess you could say and I met Nick Jonas who's like my freaking everything and I adore him so much what a beautiful and kind soul but I just you know I like when I met him I was like crying I was crying um I didn't while I met him I wasn't crying but like uh before I met him for a good 10 minutes I was crying and then I cried the entire time after I cried when we were going up the stairs to meet him just psh, waterworks the entire time and I remember stopping I wasn't crying anymore but after I took a picture with him I stopped and I was like hey um I know I'm saying longer than I'm supposed to because it's supposed to be like pick go pick go take a pick go but I said um I just want to let you know that 
you mean uh, you've always meant the world to me and that I love you or something along the lines of that and he was kind of just like thank you like like very like nice and he's like oh thanks okay and then so he left and I just I feel like looking back at it I don't cringe just because I know I needed to say that to him just because you know I adore him but um also I was thinking about it and I was like god that must have made him so uncomfortable like this random girl just going I've been in love with you since the third grade and thank you so much for existing you're awesome like that's also like a really nice thing to say to a person but he's also like I've never met you but thanks for saying you love me good okay bye and so <laughs> that's super awkward <laughs> and just like remember how this mentality like yeah they're like a person okay I don't know if that really made sense but I, I know I made him uncomfortable like Nick Jonas I'm so sorry <laughs> um, and also like he was old he's older he was like 23 when I met him like that's weird like I'm sorry I'm, I'm weird also when it comes to like poses cute poses you could do as long as you know they're comfortable with it like you got to make sure uh, when I met Sabrina Carpenter I asked her to kiss me on the cheek and I knew she was comfortable with it because when I met her it was after her show in Pasadena uh, when she was Wendy in the Peter in their version of Peter Pan and I saw girls asking like oh can I kiss your cheek can I kiss your cheek can I kiss your cheek and I was like oh my god that's so cute can she kiss my cheek because like I feel like it'd be awkward because like, I have like freaking chapped lips all the time so I didn't want to kiss her cheek and she was like oh my god yeah of course but I asked her nicely I was like hi lovely to meet you is it okay if we can take a picture like you know give her an out if she says no then it's okay I don't you can't just be like can we take a picture with you kissing my cheek it's kind of like oh is it okay if we do this like it's it's okay if you don't want to but this is something I'd like to take and so she was super sweet about it and she was like yeah let's take this picture okay and so it was like awesome and I like cry like every time thinking about it and I'm so freaking pumped to meet her again in July because I bought mean greets and oh my god I love her um but yeah so it's like super um super cool and super fun and if you want to take a pose just make sure they're okay with it like when I met Jordan Fisher I was like hey can we take a pinky promise pose because like I love you and I promise to love you forever because you're amazing but I didn't say that I was kind of just like hey can we do this and it was his first being green ever and I think that was the first pose he might have ever done and he was super like yeah I'm so down and he was like you're adorable and I cried like midway I was just like oh my god you're beautiful and so we like took her pose and then he was like oh thanks so much for coming and I was like oh no problem and yeah so big rant but just basically make sure they're okay and if you don't want to pose you totally don't have to when I met John from the main and like everyone from the summer set and Christy Cosanza from against the current we didn't do poses we kind of did your like generic selfie like hey smile you're awesome I'm dying you're touching my shoulder okay thank you for existing that's cool too man just like you know whatever will get those insta likes no I'm kidding I'm kidding I'm kidding I'm kidding if you're gonna cry cry after um because my eyes when I met Nick were just so red they were so red and like like you could see like I had just been crying my nose was red and I don't I love that picture just because I think it's so funny and just like he's he looks like a cardboard cutout next to me because he's so perfect <laughs> but yeah just cry after that's the one thing I, I can say you don't want to cry before because your picture is just gonna make you look like you were a mess I was a mess I was such an emotional wreck make sure your breath is okay so you know that's why you have the mints brush your teeth all that good stuff good hygiene good for you and yeah just make sure you smell good if you like the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, follow me on my social media. Links will be in the description box below along with some side channels and stuff. Um, and yeah, I love you guys. I'm going to try to make videos more consistently over the summer. It's just like I have final soon and school sucks and everything sucks. Yeah. Also, um, I've been to a couple of war tours and I'm going again this summer. And if you'd like a war tour survival guide, let me know because I genuinely would love to make that for you guys. I love you guys. See you next time. Bye.